When the Freeport Yellow Jackets take the field here this fall, the school board does not want Sheets to be selling beer next door. Freeport is a great community. We have a great school district, and we're just trying to keep it that way. On the school property itself, they have a... Zero tolerance for alcohol or drugs. Our goal is to protect kids. That's yeah. our total focus. So the Freeport School Board is trying to stop Sheets from getting its beer selling license. Lukovic says they don't like that Getco is already selling beer across the street. They're too far away and they're across the three lane highway and they're, they meet the requirements of the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. But he says Sheets is well within the 300 foot buffer zone required between schools and beer sellers. It's right there. We border Sheets. Sheets is right on our pro by side our property. The school building may be more than 300 feet away, but the practice field and the football stadium are well within 300 feet. Customers don't see the big deal if Sheet sells beer. If they have workers that are responsible enough to like be able to check ID. If they're following the rules and regulations, I guess it's no different than any other business nearby. So I, I think they should. A lengthy hearing was held by the PLCB on July the 13th, and a ruling could come soon. If we lose, we lose, but at least we felt that we've done the right thing to protect our kids. And the school board says if they do lose, they may change some of the rules at the football games in that if you go to the game, once you're inside, you have to stay inside. If you leave, you won't be able to come back in unless you buy another ticket. As for Sheets, Nick uh, Ruffner, who's the public relations manager, sent me a statement this afternoon basically saying they want to be a good neighbor and, quote, we will continue to listen and take into consideration the concerns surrounding the liquor license in Buffalo Township as the planning and permitting process proceeds. In other words, they're not going to drop it. Live in Buffalo Township, John Shumway, KDKA TV News. All right, John, thanks so much.